Hey, what is going on guys? Jakey here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Chamber on Haven. We're going to be starting off on the defense side, and I'm going to be showing you guys some A setups. So this one has been pretty popular. Uh, it's been popularized through VCT. A lot of teams have been using it just because it's so good. Basically, what you want to do is you want to put your first TP behind this wooden panel here at A link, and then you want to put your second TP on top of the boxes over at CT. And basically, what these TPs allow you to do is it allows you to fight sewer uh, for early control and then you can TP out here if you're ever in danger or you get a pick but if you don't see anybody A you can also jump up on top of these boxes and then play this off angle and then if they come A you get your kill and then you can TP into another off angle so at this box you can also get more kills here as they're running up short and the great thing about this is if you uh, if 20 seconds pass and your TP comes back off of cooldown you can TP again into safety at A-Link, so you actually get two free off angles. Another TP you can do is obviously you just put one behind default and then you put your second one either heaven or you can put a CT for retake. Um, and then with this TP you just fight them as they're coming up A and you can always TP out into safety. Uh, for trips, you can either put one down below right here and this will cover both long and short as they run up. I've also seen people put it on top of the box as well, but I don't think this one's that consistent, so I prefer putting it on the ground. And then if you're trying to aggro long, obviously you just put your first TP anywhere, and then as the barrier is fading, you just put it at this corner, and then you can aggro and fight long with this TP. But I prefer the short one. Next up is um, pretty s the two standard trips that you should almost always be doing is one for mid. So um, you can also put it on top of this box right here. This is a pretty good one. Or you can just put it on either side of this doorway. And then your second trip will go into garage. Uh, most people put it behind this box, but I like to put it right behind the barrier on the right right here. You can also do either one. This one is, uh, it just allows them to walk up a little further. So if you don't want them to actually walk into garage, then I would do this one. Uh, as for mid, obviously there's TPs where you can get up on top of here if you're opping and get uh, and get a pick on window. You can put your second TP either A link or C link depending on which site uh, you want to rotate to faster. But yeah, you just TP up here for your pick. Another one that I like to do is if I'm aggroing mid, usually I'll put one at this corner. And then my second one again can go A or C side or I can even put it back side of B. And then basically what I do is I will... Ask for a smoke window, and then you can walk down mid and aggro grass with this TP, and then always just TP out. Next up is the grass pick. You just put your first TP back, and then your second TP, usually the barrier is right here, so you just put it right behind the barrier. And then with this, you can step out of the doorway and fight window and grass and TP out. For C, I usually just do my TP either to get up on default, and then my second TP for retake at CT. Or I'll put it um, top default, and then if I want to fight for the site, I'll put my second TP back site. So you come up here, and then let's say you're opping, you can get your pick, and then TP. And then you can fight from this angle, and even re-peak. If you want to go aggro C long, I like to put mine in this corner right here, and then my second one can go literally anywhere, logs, back site, CT. And then uh, you just basically walk down with this TP. Hugging the right wall, I like to hug the right wall, and then you can walk down and fight this angle and literally just hold this, get your kill, and then TP out. Another one that you can do on a uh, bonus round if you have a Spectre is you can put one of your TP's sight somewhere and then as the barrier fades you try to beat the timing and walk down into Cubby and then place your TP in the corner. And then from here you can just hold close with the Spectre. This is pretty good on bonus rounds um, where you're trying to win a bonus against rifles if you have a specter so i like to do that just walk down into cubby but sometimes if they rush c they'll they'll beat you there with the timing so just keep that in mind and then another one i've seen people do is people have put a tp in this corner here and then they've put a tp over at a side so like right here behind this box so with these two tps you can rotate pretty fast to either site um i don't like doing this one personally i rarely ever do this one but some people like to do it and what you can do with this TP as well is you can play A like cubby right here or graffiti and then if they're not A you can always fast rotate over to C so I've seen people use this TP as well. Okay moving over to attack 
So obviously for attack, you always want to trip the flanks. A um, couple trips you can do is the deep A one right here. This one is nice to stop them from pushing up A, but if you guys are going A, I would recommend putting your trip here in the doorway because this will stop them from coming up window and it will also stop anybody flanking from this direction as well. For your second trip, you can either put it here at the doorway for grass. So this will stop anyone walking up grass and it will stop people from pushing C long, but they get control of all of this. So an alternative you can do if you don't want them pushing as far up C is you can put it on top of this box right here. So that way they can't get past this point. But the standard trips that I do is this one usually, and then I will wait for the barrier to fade and then I will trip deep A. Um, or the second standard trips you can do is one here and one here. Uh, for TPs, it's honestly pretty self-explanatory. You put one, if you're going long and you want to TP back to long, you can put one here. And then as you take the site, you just put one default and then you can fight Heaven, CT, and then TP long to play the spike. Or you can do that at short as well. So you just put one in this corner. Default. TP back and play for the spike. Same thing over at C um, and mid. For mid, it's usually planted in the open if you're going B. So I like to put mine in this corner. And then my second TP, I will put in, in sight either in this corner or in this corner or even back site if I can get there. Um, and then C, same story at C. You can put it either all the way back here at long or you can put it in the cubby. But you put one long and then you put one on site at default. And then I like to play this angle right here. Kill them as they're running out CT or garage. And then you can always TP back and play for the spike. So that's pretty much it guys, those are my chamber setups on Haven. I hope this video helps you guys out and uh, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.